So we just bought a new pull behind trailer for our adventure out west. We thought that number one, it would be safer with all of the COVID going on. We don't have to stay in hotels. We don't have to eat in restaurants. We can just eat by ourselves and sleep in our camper at night. Um, we also have wanted a camper for a while and thought this was a great time to get one to be able to enjoy adventures together as a family and travel. We are pulling the camper behind us and we're so excited. Right kids? Yeah. Yeah. And we even have Belzer back there. Where's Bella? We need to get one. She's sleeping. <laughs> Bella, do you see other doggies? <laughs> Look at this pretty bridge. Welcome to Bath, Virginia, it says. What? Virginia? We're not in Virginia. That. What just happened? We are not in Virginia. We're in New York. Sushi bowls for dinner in the camper. We're getting ready to start driving for the day, and Emery did not want to get up. So we thought it would be really funny to set up a little camera and see what she would do if we start driving with her still in the camper. Don't worry, we didn't leave the parking lot, um, but she didn't really seem to mind, but it still was pretty funny. <laughs> we did a hidden camera on you. <laughs> We had a little accident with Bella's tail getting stuck in the door, poor baby. But we got her all fixed up and she was ready to go. We love getting to see the arch along our drive. It's a 630 foot national monument in St. Louis, Missouri. It's actually the tallest man-made monument in the Western Hemisphere. And it was built as a monument to the westward expansion of the United States. Bella was so funny, she loved to come up in the front and visit with us. She even liked to sleep with Ben. There was this cool guy at a gas station that we stopped at. He was singing and playing his guitar. He had his dog with him. And so Ray went over and gave him some snacks. going on? Are you waiting for your family to come back? They all went in Walmart. Getting ready to have some lunch, some chips, and tuna sandwiches. Today is our last day. We are almost to Arizona. So excited. So we are in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We have about five and a half more hours until we make it to Nolan and Caitlin's. We're so, so excited. We can't wait. Right, Bella? You excited? It's been a really good trip so far. Um, a few things here and there, fixing, getting used to with the camper and the kids fighting here and there, but not too bad. Pretty good. So we have been really enjoying this adventure, really enjoying this camper, and we cannot wait to see all of our family. It's going to be amazing and so wonderful. And to celebrate Nolan and Caitlin's wedding. Yay! Alligator cedar or something or other. We got Nolan and Caitlin's 
cute little development that they live in. It's a tiny house development. How super cool is this? Just like go in there. All these little tiny houses in this little area. They're all tiny houses. It's so cute. The reception was so beautiful. One of our tires was losing air, so we took it to Walmart to be checked on. And we found out that Bella likes root beer. We went to the pumpkin patch, which was really fun. We had so much fun in Arizona. We got to see tons of our family and spend lots of time with Nolan and Caitlin. But after today, we had to drive home. We woke up in the morning in Albuquerque, New Mexico to snow all over the ground. It was crazy. This is Cadillac Ranch in Amarillo, Texas from a distance. The grass looks like it came from under the ocean. Look how frozen it is. highway which is what like six lanes across completely frozen in Amarillo Texas in October look at the cars slipping slipping when they're trying to go here we go all six lanes completely iced over everyone's driving really slow and care careful but man it's scary even scarier that we are pulling a camper along behind us we decided to try to avoid the storm that was coming from Hurricane Zeta, and so we took a more southern route. We went through Arkansas. Typically, we're able to drive across the country in about four days, sometimes five if we push it. It seems like we're never getting home. We already have gone super south to get away from all of the ice, snow ice and snow storms that are going on, and now we're dealing with all this rain. My goodness, we're almost to Memphis, Tennessee, which is kind of fun, somewhere we've never been before. But now we're stuck in traffic because of an accident, I think. Yeah, here okay. comes the rain. And here comes the rain. This has been the entire trip. It's so crazy. We have driven across the country so many times between Pennsylvania and Arizona. This time is crazy different. We've never had anything like this in all the years. We're getting closer. It's been about 40 minutes since we first started in this traffic jam. And I see a lot of flashing lights up there. After being in traffic for an hour, we are now being rooted off the highway. And I can still see some cars stopped up there. So I think the accident must have been pretty, pretty bad. That's really it's been sad. A huge pile up. Huge pile up, or even worse. I hope. We saw several okay. ambulances come out. We saw quite a few ambulances, and we're glad to be out of this traffic. But I feel really sad for everybody up ahead.
So far, what's your favorite part of this trip? Since we're on our way home, we're almost home. What's been your favorite part? Yeah, seeing all of our friends. Seeing our family? Oh huh? yeah, me too. Dad, what's been your favorite part of the trip? The wedding. Getting to be there with Nolan and Caitlin, that was so awesome. Brady? What? What's been your favorite part of the trip so far? Probably seeing Nolan. Seeing Nolan. You miss Nolan, don't you? Yeah. My favorite part was definitely seeing family, getting to be there with Nolan and Caitlin. It was super awesome. It's been a great trip. backyard. Oh, 